Hello friends, welcome to Leg Live. Welcome to a random weeknight vlog. Uh, Sherry Beth got home about a half an hour ago or so. We just pulled out all of our fall decorations. We we're about to make dinner. We we're gonna do some running around tonight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one evening. That's what this vlog is, it's one evening. But I think it's gonna be a pretty great, pretty fun evening. Think you guys are going to enjoy this one. Sherry Beth, uh, what do you got there? Our trick or treat sign. Our trick or treat sign. Also. Our give thanks sign. I love that. Because it's such a big piece, like storing it's kind of a pain in the butt. And so That's I love so that it's cool. like, well, I love that it's like multi purpose. Like we can use that for part of the year and then flip it around. Give tanks. <laughs> give tanks. Speaking of giving thanks, you guys, I just pulled this out of the oven. This is the chicken pot pie from Costco. Holy moly. It's like $19 at Costco. And this thing is ginormous. It is so, so good. That is what we're having for dinner. One of our plans is to decorate for fall tonight. Um, and this was sent to us by one of you guys. Have this out on the table. How cute it's is so that? Cute. It is cute. And full confession, we have actually gotten a lot of stuff from you guys lately and we have not been showing out on the vlogs, but we do want to say we love everything and thank you so much. The chicken pot pie from Costco, Sherry Beth. This is one of our favorite Costco meals, right? It's so good. Every year that we get this, yeah. like we are just so, so, so happy. And I will say our friends Kelly and Caleb, if they are watching this, they love this as much as we do. Mm -hmm. And I wish they were here to enjoy this with us. <laughs> Maybe next time. Well, you guys were done and we didn't even finish half of this. Uh, it's so big. Like this is crazy. Uh, for $20 chicken pot pie, we're going to get like multiple meals out of this. I love this so good. And I don't know if you can see this, but like it is absolutely filled with rotisserie chicken and peas and carrots and gravy and oh my gosh, it's just so good. So dinner's over and friends, speaking of things I bought at Costco, uh, there's, there's one other thing that I bought. Uh, I saw it there, I had to get it. I could not leave Costco without it. Um, I am in love with this thing. Like love it, love it, love it. Full confession, texted Sherry to make sure we could buy it, which she said yes. You guys, check this out. I am so excited for you guys to see what I bought because it is a giant Christmas moose. Oh. Christmas. Sherry, uh, what do you think? It's bigger than I thought. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it makes me so happy. You guys, look at him. How could I not have purchased that? I think it was like $59. Come on, we live in Alaska. I love Christmas. It's a Christmas moose. I had to have it. So we didn't do this uh, when Sherry Beth got home. Let's do a quick check-in, Sherry. Mm -hmm. How was work today for you? It was okay. Yeah? It was a worky day. But like, not a bad day? That's nice. Uh, not a bad day for me either. Um, had a website meeting this morning, which was great. Got a couple new websites. They're like totally live and done now, which was super awesome. Loved that. Uh, had a couple other meetings. So actually overall a pretty good day. Uh, got to go to Costco. Full confession though. Let's talk about this. I actually went to Costco for work stuff. We, you did? <laughs> yeah. We needed um, surge protectors and bottled water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I left Costco with surge protectors, uh, bottled water, a, a Christmas mousse, a Christmas mousse uh, pot pie, um, lunch, Asian wraps for mm -hmm. sherry, breakfast and for breakfast me. egg bites. So <laughs> it was a more, we'll put it this way, it was a more successful <laughs> trip than I expected. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are getting out of the house now. We're actually going to head somewhere uh, that's kind of fun. We're going to Spirit of Halloween. I don't know if you guys have these Spirit of Halloween stores where you are. Uh, super fun stores this time of year. It seems like that was pop up in like abandoned places, right? Yeah, like any huge like warehousey type something. It's like, what's that? A JC Penny shutdown? Let's put a Spirit of Halloween in there. <laughs> ours is their old Sam's Club. <laughs> uh, no, actually, ours is the old, um, not H and M. What was it? Forever Twenty One in the oh, Diamond for, Center. That's right. It was Sam's Club last year. It was Sam's Club last year. Now it's the uh, Forever Twenty One in the mall. Yeah. So we're gonna head there. Obviously, you guys saw earlier. We're pulling out our fall decorations. Um, we don't have a ton of Halloween decorations. Not a ton. We tend to lean more fall than Halloween. Yeah. Cause I don't want to have to take it down. Like I don't want to up for a month and then down. Like I just, I want to keep my fall decorations up until I put my Christmas stuff up. Also not a big fan of some of the scariness of Halloween. Correct. And so, uh, so we're gonna go check out Spirit of Halloween. We're gonna show you guys some of the fun Disney stuff they have, maybe some costumes, mm -hmm. just different decorations. And just kind of give you a tour. Uh, I'm curious to see what they have this year for 2020. Um, I'm curious to see how many COVID out costumes they have. <laughs> They've got to have a lot. If, 
they've got to have some, right? And what would that look like? I have no clue. Hopefully, we will find out soon. If not, huge missed opportunity. All right, let's go to Spirit of Halloween. Here we go, heading into the Diamond Center Mall here in Anchorage to check out Spirit of Halloween. Sherry Beth, you got your mask on. I got mine right here. Time to put it on. You can see the Spirit of Halloween signs here. Again, this was an old Forever 21, so it's actually a pretty huge space. Oh boy, here we go. Sherry's already found something she wants to look at. Oh my gosh, look at these little trick or treat. So cute. We actually have something similar to these uh, for our Easter baskets that are much bigger. They're like giant. Of course, like the mini costume. Oh my gosh, Sherry. Look at like the little Sally. Oh, look at that. Disney princesses all down here. I don't think they will fit. They might fit me. No, nah, maybe not. Pretty adorable though. Okay, so far the thing we've been the most impressed with are the little like baskets, the little trick or treat baskets. It's toothless. Oh my gosh. Look at, oh my gosh. You can see Wonder Woman. We've got all sorts of like Paw Patrol ones here. Oh, and Sherry just pointed out up there we have princess baskets. Uh, when I was a kid, Sherry, tell me what you guys used, but when I was a kid, we used a pillowcase. What did we use? What do you, I don't know. I used a pillowcase. What did you for use? Treating. What did we use? What do you mean? I'm confused. We weren't allowed to trick or treat. Oh, that's right. Sherry didn't go trick or treating growing up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoa. Triceratops. <laughs> sorry, I got distracted by my favorite dinosaur. Amazing. <laughs> we found more of the baskets. Uh, Chip, are you kidding me? That's awesome. That's but, adorable. However, yeah? you can fit like one piece of candy in there and that, then it's full. That's a good point. Sherry is talking like, to, it's cute, but. It's impractical. Let's be honest. When you go trick or treating, want you want. Candy in yeah, I want like a pillowcase full of candy. I don't want like two Snickers bars and a dumb Smarty. We also found more princesses here. Oh my gosh. These are super cute. And just so you guys know, just to give you an idea of price, these are 24. 99. In fact, like pro tip, if you might want to do the Bippity Boppity Boutique anytime soon or in the near future once that might reopen again, uh, now is a great time to buy dresses in advance and then bring your own dress to save some money at Bippity Boppity. Halloween is the perfect time to buy those. So this is our least favorite part about these kind of stores. It feels like at the front entrance and you can see the entrance is like right over here. At like the front entrance, they always have these like super scary kind of displays. Uh, yeah, we don't like that. This is not put like, them put them in the back. This is not our thing. So for us, this is probably our least favorite part. We always actually even try to avoid them. Yep, just like that. Sherry just found the mask section. Sherry, do you think that that would qualify like as when you're supposed to like wear a mask in it places? Says it says mask, so I think you could just wear those. We're definitely not finding many fall decorations. Obviously, this place is more focused on Halloween, which we totally knew. Lots of costumes, like the Bob Ross costume. That is pretty awesome. And then we found the entire Disney section here for adult stuff. Look at how fun this is. Okay, that's adorable. With like the ears and the buttons. Super cute. And then like they have these ears as well. This is really, really fun. I love the Rex costume for adults. Super, super cool. Oh, the alien head down there. Yep, loving all of this stuff for sure. They also have a ton of different socks up front. Look at these, these are fun, like the mini socks, but then Toy Story socks. Sparkles. Ooh, look at those. Very fun Jack socks. Pretty cool sock collection here, actually. Um, also, love, love, love these reusable shopping bags oh my gosh these are how much are they 4.99 4.99 and then we totally missed this but they have an entire nightmare before christmas display holy cow you guys oh <gasps> jerry and hocus pocus stuff oh boy oh my gosh look at all of this okay this is actually really cool so lots of hocus pocus stuff Lots of um, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff over here. I'm actually pretty impressed by the Disney stuff they have this year. Yeah. Sherry Beth, what do you think? They actually have quite a bit of Disney stuff. Yes, I'm kind of impressed. I agree. Well, we thought they were open until 9 p.m. Seven. They were open to seven. We got there at like 6.50, <laughs> so we didn't have a ton of time. We tried to show you all of the Disney stuff. Sherry yeah. Beth, uh, just kind of, that was a quick walkthrough of mm -hmm. the store. Tell me your thoughts on what you saw. There was actually some cute stuff. I agree. Um, I was kind of impressed with the adult Disney section. Me too. I kind of, you always assume that they're going to be like cute Disney kids stuff, but like nothing really for adults. And there was actually like a whole 
wall of it. Like, mm -hmm. it was kind of impressive. And then a lot of, as you guys saw right at the end, a lot of home decor stuff yeah. around Hocus Pocus uh, and around Nightmare, Nightmare Pocus. which is awesome, awesome. So I definitely feel like if you're a Disney fan, you're looking for like Disney Halloween fall decorations, uh, I thought they had a great selection. Yeah. We actually have one more stop before we head home. Uh, it's not an exciting stop, I'll be very honest. No, it's, it's a home housekeeping stop. <laughs> we have to buy cat litter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. We're out of cat litter. Yeah. Missy would probably appreciate it if we changed her cat litter. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to be responsible for our parents. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Stopping by cat litter. For this stop, we're keeping it simple. Running into Walgreens. Didn't want to go into like a big store. So hopefully they have what we're looking for here. Apparently Sherry also needs shampoo. So I don't really know what she uses. So I think we're just kind of looking for whatever. Oh, found it. All right, so we have it down here. Yes, perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Shampoo and kitty litter. We are living the dream, Sherry Beth. So let's give a quick Halloween candy rating system on if you give out certain kinds of candy, how likely is your house to get TP'd, okay? So if you give out like, you know, Snickers, Twix, Musketeers, Milky Way, you're probably pretty safe. Skittle Starburst, probably pretty safe. Kit Kats, Reese's, you're totally safe. Um, if you give out this, the Child's Play with Tootsie Rolls and Mini Dots, your house is probably gonna get TP'd. If you got Dum Dums, probably also getting TP'd. So stick with the good stuff like this. Sherry, what did you just find? A little bit weird. But he's six feet when he's hanging. <gasps> what? Okay. Totally love that. We also found something that I think we're gonna get you guys. Look at how cute. It's Hellofall and it's got like sweater material. Yeah, for $7.99, that needs to come home with us. All right, Missy. Missy, there you go. Now you can change your own litter, right? She's like, uh, that's your job? Look, that's for you. Oh, look at how cute you are. Look at how cute you are, oh, you're purring. But now I need to go change your litter, if that's okay. Back home, I'm not sure if we are going to get all of the fall decorations up. We're gonna start. But we're gonna at least get started. So we have two totes full of fall decorations and then some random things like this thing you saw earlier. So, Sherry, uh, full confession, when it comes to decorating for holidays, um, I don't always know where things go. Yeah, I kind of just say put this here. Yeah, so I was gonna say, I'm here to serve you. Mm -hmm. um, so just tell me what to do. And again, as you can see, it's definitely mostly like fall, Thanksgiving kind of stuff. There are a few Halloween things that we'll show you, but most of our Halloween things are things kind of like this, right? Like these coasters or like the little uh, ghost candy dish. Pumpkin full of pumpkins. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, and one of the questions we have is, Outside our front door, we only have space for one outdoor wreath. You can tell we've used this one because it's like super kind of worn <laughs> and like faded. Mm -hmm. um, because I think that this might not hold up in the elements as well. I think that we like to put this one on like outside the door. Okay. And this one on the door. Oh, kind of between like the storm door and the main door? Yep. I'll make it happen. And one of the very nice things about having a tall husband is that he can hang these things for me without a ladder. He how, just reaches. How did that look? I think that's really cute. We've never put those there before. No, nope, we usually have them on, we have like these little rocks that kind of stick out and we usually sit them on those, but now, I think they're cute up there. Now all we do is pray that we don't have any earthquakes. Well, true. <laughs> Unpacking fall stuff and I found this metal. Uh, this is actually a really funny story. This was from a trunk or treat that our church had years and years ago. And we won that year. And this is our championship trunk or treat medal. Yeah, it is. Sherry Bath, we trunk or treat world champions. Mm -hmm. Some areas are starting to come together. Look how cute this little table is. Got the little fall candles, that little hello, hello fall thing we just bought some of those tall little witches. And I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but this little burlap wreath we have above our fireplace, Sherry changes it up throughout the year. So now she's gonna add in the fall decorations to the wreath. 
And then Christmas time, we had Christmas decorations. Just kind of a fun way to change up the burlap above the fireplace. And this is not how our coffee table will stay. This is just kind of the staging area for things that we kind of want to put out somewhere around the house. So we gotta find homes for all of these. And we still have a bunch of things in here. I don't know that all of this is going to go out this year, but we'll see. Sherry just put up the little monsters. Sherry Beth, who painted those? I did. So fancy. <laughs> Over here we have this little bless our home thing. Got a little pumpkin up here right below the art piece we bought in St. Thomas earlier this year. We've also got this little happy Halloween house that Sherry painted with our name on there. Adorable. Our friend Aaron, a lot of you guys will know Aaron from Instagram Lives. Uh, Aaron painted this and sold these earlier this year. So stinking cute. We love this. Walking upstairs, we got our little fall scarecrows. Just got a couple other little fall decorations around. There's a lot of things that we're not going to use this year, but I feel like that happens yeah. every year. I know. We, we kind of changed stuff out. We kind of changed stuff out, put up a few things, leave a few things, but I think we're almost done. Sherry Beth, house is decorated for fall. Yep. Does that make you happy? <laughs> just wearing them. Of course I'm wearing the metal. The world needs to know that I'm a world champion trunker and treater. That's, that's true. So Sherry, how do you feel about fall decorations being up? I love fall decorations. Yeah. Uh, we've been talking about putting them up for a couple of weeks now. Had a free evening, free-ish evenings so without, you know what, tonight is the night. Yeah. Uh, it is nice and honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I'm glad the fall decorations are up because when these come down, Christmas oh goes up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. But Sherry, we have something else that we're excited about yes. that is actually happening tomorrow night, Thursday night, if you guys are watching this video on Wednesday when it came out. Sherry, what is happening Thursday night? We are doing a live stream all about the launch that will be happening on my Etsy shop on Saturday. <sighs> you guys, you guys know that Saturday is the Lisa launch, right? Raising as much money as possible to help pay off medical bills for Sherry's sister. Uh, we talked about this in a vlog recently. I will include that down below if you want to know more about this. Uh, so two things for you to be aware of. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, right here on our Leg Life YouTube channel, we are doing a live stream where we're going to show you all of the products that are going to be available at the launch on Saturday. So the live stream is happening at... 6.30 p.m. Pacific, mm -hmm. 9.30 p.m. Eastern. We know that I know that's, that's late. late. But I have to work all day. I don't get off work till five and it's like half an hour away. So I'm gonna get here and like get on the live stream. <laughs> so do that and you guys, we're gonna have a very exciting live auction item. Yes. Full of Disney mystery items that some friends of ours put together and it's, we Phenomenal. know what's in there. It is amazing. And yeah. all of that money is going to Lisa as well. So live stream Thursday night to see all of the items. And then Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific, um, 1 p.m. Eastern mm -hmm. at SherryLeg.com is going to be the opening of the Etsy shop. You guys always support Sherry so much. Um, yeah. And I'm so excited to see what Saturday uh, holds. Lots and lots of new items in the shop. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to see them all Thursday night. So live stream and then Etsy launch. Yeah. It's gonna be a busy, busy few days, but our house is decorated. <laughs> Yay! So we get to check that <laughs> off the list. Yep. I'm probably not gonna take this off until Christmas. Okay. I'm just kidding, I'll take it off later. <laughs> By later, I mean November. Uh, friends, we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us on just kind of a random weeknight vlog. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.